Hi, so I have another process video for you and again I'm going to be using Pinterest um, as an inspiration a layout design that I saw. Here it is. Um, I'll link it down in the description where it came from. Sorry also if you can hear my <clears throat> puppy chewing on his phone in the background. Um, that's him in the picture there. Anyway, so I'm going to cut down this paper that I had and I'm going to also cut down the other side, this other paper from, this is from that Heidi Swap pack that I was pulled out in my last video. And so I'm just kind of measuring out to make sure I have it 12 by 12 paper here. And that's going to be my base for my layout pretty much. So I guess I, I think I'm on my phone there pulling up the thing or texting somebody back. Anyway, so here I pulled out this gray paper, um, or not gray, it's kind of like a, a, a slate color, I guess, um, as to do just as a mat for that photo of my dog and I. And this is our first day officially leaving on our road trip to Colorado and New Mexico. So, um, and now I'm going to be using a lot of the Kelly Perky um, stamps that come in her kit and some of her journaling cards as well as journaling cards that came from the messy box from A Beautiful Mess. So here I just like that green that was on this card so I'm going to just use that, card, that green to stamp myself a little label here saying happy right here and I just tore off the end as well on one side. So I'm also going to create a little, up in that top left hand corner, um, it had like a little uh, cluster, embellishment cluster, so I'm just going to create that up there with my own um, take on it. So as well, I think pretty much they're all Kelly Perky stamps I've used in here. Um, and I'm going to use those to make some more embellishments here. And so here I'm going to, this is another journaling card that I'm just going to create a little embellishment out of. So I'm going to look for my um, hole punch, or in the circle punch there, to create like a little flare badge. And then I just had a little strip of yellow that came off of there too, so I just decided to add a little yellow down there to the bottom of that photo. So this is another, I think this came from a beautiful a messy box kit a while back. Just one of their little um, three by three cards, I believe. So now I'm just thinking about what I'm going to do next. And I'm going to stamp onto that gray part there that says happy right here. And I think this was... I couldn't tell you. It's either Kelly Perky or the Messy Box. It came in one of their kits, or I bought it from the Kelly Perky shop. Um, so just made, making another little label out of that stamping <clears throat> here. And I'm just trying to find placement, and I'm going to stick it right there on top of that picture, the right-hand corner of that picture. And I think I'm just cleaning up a little bit, trying to figure out what else I'm going to do next. So I pull all my flare badges and just things. I feel like I need some more embellishments. And I saw that I had these little paper clip arrows. And I'm just kind of looking for a flare a badge that I want to do add as well. So I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put that arrow. And I decided to get up in that cluster up there at the top. And now I'm going to pop dot the little smile circle punch that I did just to, so it stands off the page above that arrow. And I'm trying to really put that um, badge that I found, but I just felt like it was too heavy for the clusters that I wanted to add it to, the embellishment clusters. So I put it aside. And so I came up with the idea as I saw these little arrows, wooden veneer arrows that I had, and I liked them because they're just a little bit thinner and just a little bit more daintier for, and not as heavy for those clusters that I'm gonna do. And then I decided, uh, of course I gotta add some splatter, like, I mean, so I always forget to, I should always do it first so I don't get on my photo. But anyways, I get rid of the photo and just going to glue down these wood veneer arrows. Here, I like how, I really like how they came out and how I did them here. If 
feel like I've probably done this before in another layout, but oh well. And I'm just going to put another one here because I feel like I wanted to have arrows in each of those three little clusters that I was building. I, like, I do like to work in threes, that design of threes. So I found a little arrow to put underneath the, that little uh, label I made. So then I'm going to pull out um, some label, uh, labels, letter, letters, lettering that I have. And I was just thinking about it. I had to pull out two sets because I didn't have enough letters for what I wanted to spell. And then as I'm working, I realized I didn't have another I for to spell tripping. And so I'm going to turn my little, they have, I think they're, I think it was a one. I'm going to turn that one into an I. And you'll see me here. I'll just cut it down. I flip it up and kind of measure it against the other one and cut it off. And then I just grab one little dots and put it on there and here we go we got trippy and then I'm going to use an Amy Tangerine Thickers to spell out road and as I didn't realize at the time I was spelling road backwards or incorrectly but I fix it I catch myself as I actually take my time to look at it this is what happens when I spell things backwards without writing it down actually somewhere to look at <laughs> so there you go I saw that I spelled road wrong so now I have typed out my journaling on to my typewriter to that journaling card and I'm really digging the uh, typewriting journaling that I have here that I do and then making them into little journaling little strips like this so I think that's one of the things I'm gonna try to keep probably I will keep consistent throughout this album because it is just something that I find it easier actually to get my journaling when I type it out than um, writing it writing it and using my handwriting to write um i just i think it, it helps me get the journaling on to the to the pages as well and gets my story there that i want to say with the photos even though i i could probably write a whole novel about this picture but i always just want to have a little bit there or actually i feel like i could always write a novel but then when i actually go to type it or write it out it turns into like two sentences if that. <laughs> so I'm just kind of arranging them here and, and like I said I really liked how it came out there and I pulled I used that yellow to pull from the other side there that was in um, throughout the layout as well. So that is I'm gonna be finishing that up and then I'm gonna add my date stamp which I kind of forgot I had to come back and do after I was about finished and add my date stamp and that will be it. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Mm -hmm.